Hello, my name is Anna Alfred. Welcome to our next series of learning technical drawing. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and enjoy technical drawing lessons. The link is below there and the contacts are there as well. Um, last time we shared the ideas concerning the panel development and we had lesson one and lesson two. This time I want us to look at the new concept that is focal spheres. Um, focal spheres is just the idea we need to apply in construction of conic shapes and we are going to use the idea of the focal spheres to determine the focus, the vertex, the electrix, and the eccentricity. That will be with the help of the focal sphere. Uh, basically, we shall look at three cases. We shall look at the ellipse, we shall look at the parabola, and then the hyperbola. Uh, we also need to know the sectioning of the of the cone itself to obtain the conic shaped figures like the circle, the ellipse, the parabola, and the hyperbola. Now, when you look at this drawing here you see that it is a cone standing on its base and when you look at the sections you are seeing there there is a circle that means when you cut the, the cone parallel to the base surface you obtain a circle and when you cut the cone at any slanting point but not to the base you obtain the ellipse then the parabola you cut it but the base is cut past its uh, center line, then the hyperbola off the side, you will obtain those figures. And uh, this other side, you see how they appear when you are projecting them. We have the cone here, which is sectioned and it's giving you the ellipse. Uh, in this case, it's giving you the circle here, it's giving you the parabola, and then it's giving you the hyperbola. But also when they cut it straight through the center line, they have obtained the, the triangle. Now, we are going to look at the ellipse. So, ellipse, and we are going to have the example to guide us. The example is saying the figure below shows the complete plan and the front elevation of the cut cone. With the help of the focal sphere, determine... Roman 1, the focus, the vertex, the directrix, and the, the eccentricity. Then part B, they are saying draw the complete plan of the cone. Then part C, you draw the ellipse itself. So we are having the, the, the drawing to guide us. We have the front, uh, we have the base, which will be round. Uh, the diameter is 100, we have the height of the corners 110, we have the point where the sectioning line is positioned on the slanting side as 30, inclined to 30 degrees. So, of course, whenever you're dealing with drawings in technical drawing, the first thing you do is to copy the figure as given. And so, we have our figure which we have copied. Now let us start with the first case. Uh, we are going to start with determining these four items. We have the focus vertex, the electrix, and the eccentricity. Now, when we are doing that, what we do, we are going to have our shape with our sectioning line. Now, above there you discover that there is a shape of a triangle. What we do, we are going to inscribe a circle in that triangular shape. 
and of course when you're inscribing what we do we bisect any two angles of the the triangle so when you bisect this angle you'll get this center and when you use it when you use that center you can draw the circle now after drawing the circle that circle is what we call the focal sphere that circle is what we call the focal sphere then now uh, our next item of course you have to drop the perpendiculars you have to drop the perpendiculars here like you see i have a perpendicular dropped to this to get point b and i have the perpendicular drop decide to get point c now when you drop the perpendiculars and you have obtained those points there you are going to draw the line through point b and c and that line will move and it will meet the sectioning line at a point as you can see that blue line so it's through point a and b and it will give you point d now this point d here is what we call the directrix this is the directrix point now we have obtained one part the directrix we are going to obtain the next item which we shall call the focus so our next issue here we drop we drop the perpendicular from the center to the sectioning line and when you drop the perpendicular you get that of course you get that point there and that point there is what we call the focal point or the focus of the ellipse now having obtained the focus and the directrix we also need the vertex now the vertex is obtained actually th those points you see where the sectioning line is cutting the cone are the vertex positions you have this and we have this like that then we need to complete the whole thing because now with the ellipse what we have to know is that it has the ellipse has two focal points the two vertices and the two directrices so we are going to put the directrix this side also and the focus and we do that by transferring the distances we shall take the distance fv we mark it this side then vd we also mark it this side as you can see and we have the directrix the vertex the focus and the other side as you can see and of course you outline what you see there now there's one item remaining the eccentricity now the eccentricity of any conic shaped figure is the ratio of the distance between the focus and the vertex to that distance between the vertex and the, the directrix so when we express that we shall see that the eccentricity is equal to vf over dv which is equal to x over y and that's how you determine the four items you see there that's the focus vertex directrix and eccentricity next item we are going to part b where they are saying we draw the complete plan now complete plan is when how do you see this cone when you're viewing from up here and what do we do the first thing we do is to divide our circle here into 12 equal parts and you say have one two three up to the last point having divided this we are going to project points from the positions you have on the plan here to the base of the cone and what i'm going to do i'm going to consider one point to give us the, the other steps so what i'll do i'll consider point one so i'll project the line to the base and then i join it to the apex now when you join that line to the apex you discover that it is being cut by the sectioning line at this point here so at that point project that line back to meet the line 17 at that point and you take note of that point so you repeat the same thing with the two three four until you finish the points like that so you have seen that you have obtained 
several points here but the line for three is missing because when you try to project it downwards it will not give you the point so we are going to use the procedure of projecting the line from the point there to the surface and then downwards then we use our compass and we obtain the points for three and nine as you can see that red line so you project downwards you reach here use a compass and you get those points and you have got the points for you to complete the plan and when you do so you have the complete plan like that so here you have your complete plan we need to go to the next part where they are saying we draw the ellipse how do we draw the ellipse the plan is complete um, we are now going to have the ellipse here now when you're drawing the ellipse we are going to consider the section D part here actually in this way they can also tell that you draw the true shape the true shape you obtain is the ellipse itself so what we do we are going to draw the ellipse by viewing perpendicular to the sectioning line on the cut surface so perpendicular that means at 90 degrees so i put my line at 90 degrees and i'm going to slide lines parallel to this through these other points you have on the section part and you will have the lines like that they are all parallel to each other now you need to put this new line x y at any point up there the new line x y and when you put you have the new line x y like that that line is parallel to the sectioning line they have given to you now having done that we are going to plot how do we plot we are going to pick the heights from the complete plan we have here this part we have drawn for the complete plan and we mark the heights this side so when you take the height for example if we pick the height for three like from this center to three you will have the points marked here and when you take for say four and h you also have the points there as you can see so take the height come and mark them there take the height come and mark the other side and when you take all those points you have points around that x y line like that and when you join them you obtain a curve and that is the ellipse so we have drawn the ellipse but uh, since the question is revolving around the directrix the focus vertex we are going to project now our directrix the vertex the focus to the ellipse such that it is seen complete so i will project these points here to the xy line hmm, that is it so when you project you'll get those points up there and finally of course we outline whenever we're dealing with technical drawing issues we outline the drawing and when you outline you'll have your complete plan like that you'll have your elevation and you have your ellipse at that point you have the vertex the focus the directrix but remember the directrix is a line not a point that's why you see i've drawn it as a line that is what you need to know here i've summarized the whole thing here d is directrix v is vertex f is focus e is eccentricity and that is what we needed to know today uh, please don't forget subscribe to my youtube channel and enjoy the technical drawing lessons the link is there as you can see it in blue and my contacts are here as well you can reach me on those contacts thank you